As CEO of DG Salad and Antigua and Barbuda, the best value mobile services provider in these islands, I am truly honored, truly excited, truly proud tonight to announce a project that I believe is the most revolutionary, most exciting that DG Salad has embarked on in our 11 years in the Caribbean. The project that we are announcing today has the potential to dramatically change these beautiful twin island states the firm of good. Today we are announcing plans to give access to thousands of people to unfettered knowledge through a significant investment in technology and training. This is not Digicel's first social project in Antigua and Barbuda, nor is it our first partnership with the government. Since our launch here in 2006, we have stayed true to our promise that we will make a meaningful change for good in the community in which we operate. We have worked with the government of Antigua and Barbuda on projects such as landing of the GCN fiber, a key milestone in ensuring this island can be competitive for international investment, a key milestone in allowing these projects we're announcing today to go ahead and in the recent liberalization of the international sector. In recent years, we have partnered with the Ministry of Information, Broadcasting, Telecommunications, Science and Technology and have rolled out 12 ICT labs across schools in this island to give our young people access to training, technology and information. We have been a long-standing supporter and sponsor of the ICT Fest every year, a body that is organised to encourage and assist entrepreneurship, investment and economic development. True to our principles, within days of the recent liberalisation of the international monopoly, we slashed our rates across the board. Um, today I'm very proud to announce that for 33 cents EC, you can call your friends and family across the Gigi South Caribbean, in the USA, in Canada, and for 50 EC cents, you can call across the world. We are very proud to be able to at last deliver to the people of Antigua and Barbuda true value for international calling. And I'd like to compliment the Minister and the Prime Minister for the courage and the professionalism in how they handle the ending of the monopoly. In the last few weeks, Digicel has announced two major projects. Last month we announced phase one of the GATE project, Government Assisted Technology Endeavour and the Cadet Program. And more recently, we announced a significant investment of 135,000 EC to Clearview Psychiatric Hospital for the renovation and refurbishment of the main ward there. Although personally, I believe those announcements are important, are impressive, I personally believe they pay this insignificance for what we are about to announce tonight. This is a truly a historic evening for Digicel, and I believe a historic evening for the people of Antigua and Barbuda. Today we are announcing the Caribbean first, and probably nearly a world first as well. I would firstly like to congratulate uh, our Honourable Prime Minister, Mr. Baldwin Spencer, and our Honourable Minister, Edmund Mansour, for their courage, for their vision, for their leadership in agreeing to partner with Digicel to make Antigua and Barbuda the most technological advanced nation in the Eastern Caribbean, if not the whole Caribbean. <laughs> Following on from the announcement of Phase 1 of GATE, Tonight, we announced three other components. These components will touch tens of thousands of people on this twin island state. They represent tens of thousands of millions or tens of millions of dollars of investment in the future of this country. And will allow, I will allow more distinguished speakers after me to take you through the details of these components, but they encompass areas such as education, e-government, and of course, more details on the cadet program. Tonight, I personally have the pleasure to announce that Digicel is well advanced in a multi-million dollar project to bring long-term evolution, LTE, uh, to this island. Long-term evolution, or LTE, is the most advanced 4G technology available in the world today.
It is a new state-of-the-art 4G technology which will bring high-speed internet broadband to this island, to people's homes, to their places to work, to their schools and when they're on the go. The LTE technology is the technology of choice in the USA today. Major operators such as AT&T and Verizon are racing and competing who can roll it out faster across the major cities in the US. It is a wireless internet technology that allows download speeds of up to 75 megabits per second on the network that DigiSat is installing in these islands today. That is four to three times faster than any other 4G technology available and hundreds of times faster than any network available in the world. Antigua and Barbuda will be the first country in the Caribbean and among the first countries in the world to boast this technology, which DigiCell believes will ensure the integration and adaption of information and communication technologies in all spheres of national life. The value and quality that DigiCell championed in the mobile area and most recently in the international area will also now be delivered to the area of internet delivery in the islands of Antigua and Barbuda. Not alone will Digicel be providing the latest and greatest network, but partnering with the government, Digicel will be providing free access to this network to thousands of school children across this island. I repeat, tonight, partnering with the government, we're very proud to announce that we're providing free access to thousands of young students across this island to allow them to study at school, at home and on the go and to ensure the future economic development of this island. Through this partnership with DigiSan and the government and the delivery of a world leading 4G LTE network to students, the GATE project will give the youth of Antigua and Barbuda direct access to the most advanced communication technology available. And these skills and training will inevitably drive job creation, innovation and economic development. To conclude, I would like to again stress how proud, how honoured I am to be here tonight for this exciting and historic uh, announcement. And I'm confident each of you sitting in this room and watching as you listen to the future speakers tonight and you see the details of this exciting project, you will share my enthusiasm and my excitement. The bigger, better LTE network is coming to Antigua, Bermuda. Thank you very much.